Hey guys, I'm back. Um, got a new flashlight review today. Not a sample, something I saw and I bought and I really wanted to try out. I've got a few different flashlight reviews for you in the next coming few weeks. So, uh, it's been a while since I got a flashlight that I actually paid for that uh, was not a sample. And I'm not saying that in a pretentious way. I mean, um, I haven't bought a flashlight on my own for a while uh, because I'm not, I just haven't been excited to try some out on my own is what I'm trying to say. But what's cool about that is um, I can't do shout outs to people on sample flashlights, but I can do shout outs if I've shelled out the bucks for my own. So let's do some shout outs. And uh, I'm going to start with a special shout out because I was speaking with somebody on Instagram the other day that contacted me and they wanted to know if I was the real Doc P. And I said I would prove it by giving them a special shout out on this very video for the Super Cree light. So um, Owen, Special shout out to you, just to prove I am who I said I was on Instagram. I rarely ever use Instagram anymore, and I know a lot of people want me to get back to that, and I'll try to get back to that. But guys, it's a lot of, tra it's like you gotta hit like three whole buttons to do stuff on Instagram, and it's a lot of work. But, <clears throat> shout out to you, Owen, um, just to prove I'm the real Doc P that you were talking to. I want to give an extra special shout out to Hunter H who just got engaged to the love of his life. Congratulations to you, young man. That's a special event. Hmm. Ronatan, uh, UH. Jeremiah J Vlogs, who I can't figure out if this kid is serious with me or not with the comments flip-flopping back forth between I'm an asshole or he likes me, but you know what? I said I'd give him a shout out, so I'm giving him a shout out. Anakin Cordova. Nick Paul, and Cade Arthur, rounding out our shoutouts for today. Um, I got a pretty long shoutout list, like I always say. Uh, if, you know, you ask for a shoutout and, uh, you know, you've seen three or four shoutout videos go by and your name hasn't come up, then go ahead and, and you know, say like, hey, ask for a shoutout. Three or four videos have gone by and my name hasn't come up. But otherwise, you know, give me a couple of videos with shout outs before you say like, hey, I didn't get my shout out because it, it does take me a while to get through all of them. But I promise I try to get through all the shout outs. I do. I, I love doing shout outs for people. It's a great way to say thanks for watching the channel. So thanks guys for watching the channel and supporting the channel. And let's uh, let's get to today's flashlight because I am I am oddly excited about this flashlight. You know, every time I record a video in the kitchen, some guy, some random guy, I can't remember his name, tells me that it sounds like I put my microphone in a PVC pipe. And it makes me want to comment back, how many microphones have you put in a PVC pipe to know what that sounds like? But most people like the sound when I record in the kitchen here. I don't know. If you guys don't, let me know. When it's warmer, I'll go back outside. Um, <clears throat> I just, I enjoy being not outside right now. So, um... This is labeled as, and you can see, I removed this, super powerful LED flashlight. I'm calling it the Super Cree light, and I'm going to show you why right away. So, the the standard Cree light, I'm calling it the Cree light, um, this has come in an Alpha Outpost box, this has come in a battle box, this is the newest uh, battle box. This one actually came in the new member box, uh, the B.O.B., um, I've gotten these in, uh, I think a shit hits the fan box, in a survival box, as you can buy these on Amazon. They are fairly inexpensive. They're rugged little lights. Like, these are one of those things that I would, I would recommend for a, they're not great. They're, um, you know, they're not super, super bright. They're very, they're bright in a short distance. Um, I, I have better lights for like a, a long distance, like, but for, you know, an EDC kind of light. For, you know, I just did a video talking about how misused the term tactical is, but for a tactical situation, um, you know, I, I wouldn't use it for that. But for just a good, bright, EDC kind of light, you'll see now why I call this the Super Cree light. Uh, it is like this light on steroids. When I saw it, I said, I, I have to try that out. There's no good definition, there's no good title for this light, and I mean, it, let me show you, uh, uh, let, me, let me cut in a screenshot from Amazon to show you the actual title of this light. Okay, so, that's insane. Um, I guess we'll just call it the, we'll call it the Roman Jobs light, right? I like Super Cree light, I'm gonna go with Super Cree light. But of all the functions of this little standard Cree light, the zoom in and out, 
the multiple functions, um, this does them all. The difference is uh, bigger, better, faster. Um, I always say bigger, better, faster. There's no faster, just uh, bigger, better. I think I'm gonna steal a line from George Lucas. If you look up anything about when he filmed the original Star Wars, his favorite direction to give the actors was faster and more intensity. Um, so I'm gonna drop the, I'm gonna say bigger, more intensity. I'm really excited to see how it performs. Um, does it give us more range, more area coverage than the standard Cree light? Like, how does it do? So we'll we'll come back to that little Cree light because I want to compare it to this. But let's see what we get in the box. Now, this again, you know, these Chinese production lights, I should say a lot of these Chinese production lights, and yes, it is produced in China, comes with this very pelican looking case. It is not nearly a pelican case. Um, it, this one doesn't even have a, a plastic gasket. It has no O-ring or anything. Um, and it is not rugged at all. I mean, it bends. I could rip this thing, I could rip the top off if I wanted to. And sometimes you even have trouble snapping these little things. But it is a nice little plastic case to keep it in for organization purposes with everything it comes with. So you get two, not just one, but two rechargeable batteries. The 18650 rechargeable batteries. Um, you know, these are very generic batteries. There are certainly better brands of these, but it's cool they give you two and you get a charger. And I have probably 10 of these chargers, you know, from various lasers and flashlights. I think there is one factory in China that stamps these things out like wholesale and just they put them in everything. So since we're gonna be using um, one of the rechargeable 18650 batteries in this, I decided to put the same kind of battery in the Cree flashlight, the small Cree. We're using an Ultra Fire 14500. Um, <clears throat> now, number one, this doesn't even come with a little tray to put, you know, a standard alkaline battery in there. Some of them do. You can, um, you know, you put three triple A's or, or a double A or something in there. Like this is rigged up that you can use a standard double A or the rechargeable. Um, but it's kind of a fact that you get better performance when you use the um, lithium ion rechargeable batteries inside these kinds of flashlights than regular. So since I want to be able to compare the performance as close as possible, I want to make sure I'm using the same kind of battery inside each one of them. So the little Cree light um, has three modes. Some of them have five modes. I've learned that the color of the button, there's orange and there's red, has a lot to do with what the flashlight can do. So to start off, this is the brightest. Um, you give it a half click. Oh, you see the little, I hate when it does that. The little shimmery, that's medium, that's seizure, and then we're back. If I demonstrate here, bright, dim, strobe, and then you can zoom in and out. And one of the craziest things about these Krees is that like it has a square LED and I don't think you can really see it very well. Right here, right now, has that square LED light shape, which is like, how do they do that and why? So there's the little guy. What I hate is that every time you turn it off and on, it actually changes the mode. So when it's on, you can half click the button to change the mode, but if you turn it off, you turn it back on, it's in the next mode. And there's nothing you can do about that. So I have not messed with this at all, obviously. Let's see what the Super Cree does. So this is, wow, one. Half click, I guess this is um, strobe, SOS. So this is a five mode light. But you know, I could have referred back to the product information on Amazon to know that. So we've got bright, medium, dim, and of course it's hard to tell here right now. Seizure, sorry, I shouldn't make fun of that, strobe and SOS. And it also has the square Cree light. But of course, being a bigger light, you've got a much bigger arc of light than the, the regular little Cree light. Right now I'm holding it just kind of parallel with the lens of the camera so you can see the, the arc. And now the big Cree. So size matters, no matter what anybody told you. Um, and you see the size is not that much different. Weight is not that much different, but you're getting a hell of a lot more light. One of the things I can tell right here though, 
and I don't know if it's showing up on camera, um, you're getting more of a crisp white light out of the, the regular Cree, and you're getting more of that warm incandescent bulb kind of warm light out of the Super Cree. I'm not sure if that's showing up very well on camera. Maybe it'll show up better outside tonight. Here they are zoomed in at the exact same range, right next to each other. And what I'm seeing in real life is that the small Cree actually, you know, spotlight is brighter, but obviously smaller. Um, and I'm not sure if that is, can you see the little Cree inside the big Cree? Because I can see it in real life. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. So the little Cree is slightly brighter, but, you know, I don't know if it has that power over distance. We're going to have to see in the backyard tonight when it's dark. But from, uh, you know, first impressions, initial observations, I would say this one is is kind of worth it just for the increased power, increased area you get, five modes instead of three, if that matters to you, if you're into the, the extra modes. Um, here's the kicker, though. Let me see this. Yep, it does the same thing. So if you turn it off and you're in one mode, you turn it back on, you come into another mode. I wish they could make one that didn't do that. That's a pain in the butt. I want it to stay in the mode I turn it off in. That's why I love my Olight so much. The mode button is completely separate from the power button. So when you're using it for one mode, you turn it off, it comes back, it's, it's exactly as you left it. Um, so for right now, I guess we're going to have to um, just wait till tonight and then we can do our standard glow test, our standard uh, reflective range test and see how it compares to a regular little green light. All right, so I'm outside. We got little baby green light going on here. And this is low power setting. And you can see the rope out there. You can see the arc of light. Here's seizure. Uh, bright and low once again. And I need to use baby Cree light to find super Cree light. Here's little Cree light, regular Cree light. Damn it, sorry. Regular Cree light, big Cree light. Regular Cree light, and you can kind of see the bounds of the light as I move it up and down. Big Cree light. Covers a whole area, a lot wider anyway. Now, in terms of light, they're about the same. You just get a much wider field of view. Um, it really, well, uh, you know, I don't know. If we spotlight it, you can see that you get more, I mean, a much bigger light with the, the Super Cree light, but uh, you can tell the little regular Cree light is actually brighter in its spot. You can clearly see the little Cree light in there. So there's high power mode, and you can still see little Cree light inside a big Cree light. But, I mean, look at the coverage that wide Cree light gives you when it's zoomed. And with both of them, even, you know, it's so bright you lose the rope. But it, it looks like little Cree light actually is brighter overall than big Cree light. You just, because the, the light is more diffused over a bigger area, it actually gives you a brighter, I mean, I guess you guys are getting what I'm trying to say, right? Sorry, it's cold and it's late. Now, if we expand this, we zoom out the bright mode. I mean, it, the whole yard is basically visible. With little Cree light, you can really see the boundaries of the light in bright mode. Whereas big Cree light basically wants to light up the whole yard, and I have a good amount of freedom to swing it back and forth. But let's check out our glow in the dark plate. Here is little Cree light. Ready? And that is how little Cree light charges the glow in the dark material. This is glow in the dark uh, Kiranite starlight. Here comes. Super Cree light and Super Cree light. It, 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 I think because it's a bigger light source, it actually does charge up the glow in the dark material just a little bit better. But as the, the glow fades a little bit, it evens out pretty quick. If you want that single solitary spotlight, I think little Cree light works pretty well for you. 
but if you're looking for an overall light to actually light up your area, Super Cree Light's the way to go. Um, especially for the size and weight. It's pretty awesome. And you get your, you know, your five modes versus your three. Overall, you're not buying off on that much more size. You're not buying off on that much more weight. But you do get more options. You get two more modes. You get a much larger area of light. Although it's not as bright in as small a spot as the original Cree light we've been looking at. Overall, it provides you more light. I mean, it just does. So if I had to choose between one of these two lights, I'd rather carry this one. I mean, I, I think that this one just gives you more personally. Now, you know, we have my flashlight by Roman Jobs. Just like this one carries so many different specific brand names and markings, I'm sure we'd be able to find this with so many different names on it. Um, you know, depending on where you shop, but regardless of what name is printed on it and, you know, what the listing actually says, wherever it is that, that you find it, I think it's well worth the money. I really do. So that is that. Regardless of everything we just looked at, end of January is coming, which coincidentally also means the beginning of February. So I need some more Q&A questions. So put it in the uh, video description as well, but um, send me your Q&A questions for the newest video questions for doc p at gmail.com can always suggest a video you'd like to see or make a specific video request at send that <clears throat> you can send all those ideas and everything to doc p 96 at gmail.com and of course my favorite plug i always make um my patreon team is growing and i love it it's great it helps me bring more content it helps me make cooler videos it helps me uh test out and and bring to you guys um, more boxes, cooler products and everything. So uh, I'm going to put a link to the Patreon page. Please check it out, you know, if you want. Um, I, I can tell you for a fact that, once again, I, I did not throw any of the results of the big giveaway in their favor. But the fact, you know, one of the benefits of being a Patreon team member is getting extra entries to use in giveaways. And it definitely paid off for some of those guys in the giveaway, those extra entries did win them some items, so please check that out in the video description as well. But I do appreciate every single person that watches videos, that comments, that subscribes to the channel, that in any way supports uh, all the fun and shenanigans that goes on here. You are all absolutely awesome, and I'll be back again real soon.